is not just about the gliding uh, through the streets in a sleek car. It's also a responsibility that e extends beyond that luxurious interior. As a tree professional myself in this trade, I've come to understand by the time that safety is simply the paramount. Today, I will share some essential driving techniques that every chauffeur must know to ensure the safety of both passengers and fellow road users. I will tell you some of the secrets that lie behind each turn of the wheel, each application of the brake and each gentle press of the accelerator. My name is Ratko, a Sydney-based chauffeur, aka Ray. On this channel, I share my passion by giving you a glimpse into my chauffeur life. Today I'm doing a tour guide, uh, something different from what I usually do, so no corporate transfers or no corporate hire today, but I'll be taking you to one of the iconic uh, places in Sydney, so you see where the day will take us today. When I first embarked on this journey as a chauffeur driver, I quickly realized that my driving skills needed a whole new level of refinement. It wasn't just driving from point A to point B, it was about maintaining a smooth, comfortable ride for my passengers while navigating through the unpredictable urban traffic. One of the fundamental techniques I found is surely defensive driving. Anticipating the actions of other drivers and being prepared for the unexpected is a lifesaver. This means anticipating the actions of other drivers and being prepared to react swiftly to any unexpected situation. I'm not just focused on my car, but also monitoring every single movement around me. A quick glance at the rear view mirror, an eye on the blind spots and a constant assessment of the road conditions allow me to stay ahead of a potential hazard. It's not just about reacting, it's also about proactively preventing accidents. Defensive driving has simply become a second nature to me as I consistently maintain a safe following distance from the vehicle in front of me. This distance provides me a buffer zone that allows me to react appropriately to sudden stops or unexpected maneuvers. Scanning my surroundings is another voice aspect of defensive driving. My eyes are always in motion, constantly assessing the roads ahead, the vehicle besides me and, and those approaching from behind. This heightened awareness helps me to detect potential danger early, enabling me to respond in timely and controlled manner. It's like having a mental map on the traffic landscape that guides my every move. Whether you're local or a curious traveler, this park offers experience that showcases the rich biodiversity of this region in a way both educational and entertaining too. So whether you're a nature enthusiast or simply an animal lover, paying visit to this place in Western Sydney promises an adventure and simply heartwarming. Car park for the buses and obviously for the rest of the cars. And you're gonna be proceeding to this way. Home to the largest collection of Australian animals in the world, Ferdadile Sydney Wildlife Park. So what this park is known for is you can get very close to all these uh, animals like the kangaroos, or wallabies, you can have a parrot on your shoulder having a snack. And you've got uh, a lot of tourists most of the time. Obviously, this is a shop where you can buy a little souvenir from from this park. On the other side, also, this is another coffee shop. So this is the main entrance. So adults, thirty-nine dollars. Child, three to fifteen years, twenty-six. Ferdadale Wildlife Park in Western Sydney. It's been approximately forty minutes and usually we stay around one hour at this place so we've got approximately another 20. Uh, so until then i've got nothing to do but just enjoy my cup of coffee until they come out and we are off to the next interesting location
another crucial skill I've mastered is uh, smooth braking and acceleration. Harsh southern movements not only compromise passenger comfort but they also pose a safety risk. I've learned to apply brakes gently and accelerate smoothly, making the journey seamless and reducing the chances of sudden jolts. Different weather conditions obviously can pose significant challenges, especially rain or fog here in Australia demand a different approach. Our first stop in the Blue Mountains, that's the Wentworth Falls. In the modern era, technology plays a huge role in enhancing safety. Utilizing the latest GPS navigation systems helps me plan routes avoiding traffic congestions and reach destinations efficiently. Some vehicles are equipped with advanced driver assistance systems that provide additional layers of safety. However, I never rely solely on the technology, so my instincts and my experience remain my last trusted allies. So lane changes might seem uh, not that important, but I, I assure you they're also a critical moment for a chauffeur driver. I've adopted a three-step process, so I signal my intention, check mirrors and blind spots and then smoothly transition into the desired lane. So this not only ensures the safety of my passengers, but also contributes to the overall flow of traffic. As you can tell, all these techniques are centered around the mantra of safety first. At the moment it's 12.15 and as per the original schedule we ended up in this uh, hotel here for lunch so it's another experience number three and now we have about approximately 90 minutes as soon as they finish their lunch we're gonna be heading to the three sisters iconic three sisters here in katumba new south wales Queen Elizabeth lookout and uh, Her Most Gracious Majesty viewed this Jameson Valley from the lookout Queen Elizabeth was here at 1954. Remember, always put the safety first. Well, that's the kind of driving philosophy that keeps both myself and my passengers in, in good hands when driving. So now, if you watch so far, the chances are you're interested in limo driving or you've done some chauffeuring perhaps in the past. Uh, but I would love to hear from you. Uh, what sort of experience was that for you as a chauffeur? Uh, how was your limo driving? Or your intention is to become one in future? So I would love to hear all, all this. Uh, I'm checking every single comment. Um, let me know what you think and until the next time, thanks for watching.